I'm Peter Visca. I head Visca Toons Animation in Melbourne and uh, I just want to introduce you today to Matt Jones who's from, originally from Wales and has done the journey via LA through some of the uh, superstar studios to be part of our Film Victoria storyboarding initiative. Matt, welcome and I'd just uh, like if you could in a few words explain to us some of the tips you've learned in your path and your career. First of all though, mm. where have you been? What have you been doing? Sure. Well I started in Wales where I was born. I started work, I studied animation in Wales and got my first job in Cardiff, the capital of Wales, and then moved to London and worked in commercials and all the time waiting for the opportunity to work on animated feature films. And the first one was The Corpse Bride, Tim Burton's movie. And I'd applied to Pixar and it took a year, but I eventually made the move to, to uh, California and spent four years at Pixar and now I'm in LA at a small studio called Original Force. Did you start with at a school? Were you an animator that decided to go into storyboarding yeah, or how did it happen? I was at a very good school in South Wales where we they prepared us for the industry and we learned every facet of, of animation production and I I drew, I did um, animation, drawn animation, layout, background design, character design. So, somewhere along the way you're starting to move towards becoming a story artist. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me the difference between being a storyboarder and a story artist? In a big studio, with the story department, we're more like writers and we're developing the story and the characters. Um, with the director, it's more like writing, so we are, we are artists who are, who are writing with drawings. And do you still draw? Absolutely, every day. Yeah, Life drawing, drawing on the train, drawing friends, um, sketching from imagination, from film. So Matt, you've got your sketchbook out, you've arrived in Melbourne. Tell us, what were some of the sites that you felt like you had to draw and sure, capture the spirit I, of the town? Yeah, I went to draw. First stop was Flinders Street Station. I drew the Forum Building. I ate dinner on Hardware Lane. So I drew my surroundings while I was waiting for the meal. I found Mad Max's car in Acme. I've noticed in part of your course here, you reverse engineered some films. Can you talk, tell us about yeah, the I took, Jaws one? We, we, uh, I took a couple of sequences from classic movies. One was Jaws, where we, there's a specific sequence I looked at that's a one shot, uh, a three minute sequence where Spielberg did the whole dialogue uh, in one shot with three characters and I sketched from that. It took about three hours to go through the sequence and draw. Not every frame, but uh, when there's a key difference to, to really analyze and study the sequence. One of the uh, exciting times for me while um, you were here in the studio was there was one particular day we hired a model. All through my time studying in London and, and at art school and in France, I did life drawing constantly, but it was classical life drawing where, where I was studying anatomy and they were long poses. But at the American studios, they do gesture drawing, which is much more pertinent and relevant to, to storyboarding where we practice sketching very fast and it gets you to, to, to draw fast and capture the pose quickly. Are your first drawings fairly clean or do you do it? No, on, always how loose. How does it work? I do tiny thumbnail drawings right on the script. What, how big is a thumbnail drawing? Well, not quite a thumbnail, but they're an inch or two inches, and they're just purely thinking drawings. And why do you draw that small? Just to go to go fast. It's it's literally the uh, pencil mileage we call it. The smaller you draw, the faster you can go. Matt, I just noticed that when we did the uh, startup, and you didn't know anyone at the course, you used a little trick to. Uh, introduce them to the process as well as finding out about them. Can you tell us yeah, about that? Yeah, the first assignment I set was a get to know you assignment where they uh, spent the day creating a story sequence that would tell me their journey to animation and how they got here and, and it let me see who they, who they are and what they're into. So on behalf of the uh, animation industry in Melbourne in particular, thank you again on behalf of everyone, Matt. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thanks for bringing me out here, Peter. And I, I'm really happy to help you teach the next generation and I'm encouraged that they'll learn the necessary skills to keep the industry moving forward. Mm -hmm.